What's up everybody, it's Chris here at Averitt and in this video we're going to be talking about all the different divisions here at Averitt, a question that I get asked all the time, what does this division do, what kind of offerings they have here at Averitt. So I'm going to give you a list of the rundown of what they kind of have here and a little bit about each one. Um, I'm off duty here waiting to start my day so I figured it would be a good time to make the video and answer some questions out there, alright? So we're going to start right off the bat with truckload. Truckload is your normal truckload, it's running from customer A to receiver B. Um, you're be hauling all kinds of stuff. You never know what you're going to be doing each week because you're normally only pre-planned one or two days out in advance. Um, it, it's volatile. Um, like I said, you never know what, what you're going to be doing. It is the normal everyday trucking. Okay, you still go home on the weekends. You're assigned a truck. Um, it, it's just your normal average trucking okay sometimes they call this OTR sometimes they call it regional on the Averitt website and that's because it's, it's true we only run the eastern part of the United States so technically we are regional and they're not gonna send you out to a place where they can't get you back home by the weekend does that mean that if you live in Texas that you're never gonna see Pennsylvania no there's a good chance that you might see Pennsylvania one day uh, but if they send you out that far, it's going to be at the very beginning of the week. You'll go out there, make your delivery, and then come back. Um, so you're not going to be going to like Pennsylvania on like a Thursday because th there would be no way they get you back on, in time. And in the case that you do get an assignment going to Pennsylvania on a Thursday, what they'll normally do is they'll make you go pick it up and start heading that way, but they'll find a service center or a relay for you to change it out with another driver so you don't have to take it the whole way. So that's what the normal truckload, regional, OTR, um, whatever you want to call it, they have all different kind of words for it. Um, I know the word regional kind of screws people up sometimes because they think it's just confined to like two or three states when that's not the case, okay? It's going to be the eastern United States, but they're never going to send you to a point where they can't get you back home for the weekend unless you request it, okay? If you want to work that weekend, you can. All right, so next is the city. And the city drivers drive day cabs for the most part. And what they do is they come into work at your closest domicile. They'll pick up their loaded trailer and then they'll make their deliveries starting at the service center working outwards. All right, you may have 10 stops, you may have 20 stops. It just depends on what's on your trailer and who you're going to. On the way back, what you'll do is you'll pick stuff up coming back to the service center. So you'll make deliveries going out, you'll be back hauled at customers coming back to the service center. And then you go home for the day. And normally those are Monday through Friday jobs too. Um, I know some guys that do work on a Saturday or a Sunday, but I think those are kind of rare uh, because most businesses are closed on Saturday and Sunday, right? So, uh, but anyway, that's the normal day cab job. The next one is going to be shuttle. And what shuttle is, is moving freight from one service center to another service center. All right, normally these are night runs, not all of them, but normally they are. Um, a lot of them are hazmat. Uh, simple hazmat things like uh, you may have a couple pallets of uh, cigarette lighters or something It's not nothing major or anything like that, but you know whenever you're getting mixed freight like this um, There's a good chance that a portion of it's gonna be hazmat All right, so what the service set or sorry what the shuttle drivers do is those day cabs those city drivers that bring that freight from around the city back to the service center They put that on like if a lot of that freight is going out west and we're in Atlanta They're gonna put that on a trailer and a shuttle driver is going to take that trailer out to, I don't know, Dallas, Texas, let's say. Once it gets to Dallas, Texas, that service center is going to break that freight up, put it on their day cabs, and those are gonna make their deliveries in their area. So the shuttle driver is the link between the two service centers, okay, for moving the LTL freight. So that's what they do. That's pretty much all they do. So a good perk is you don't have to deal with customers this way. You're only dealing with a service centers. So you don't have the frustration of dealing with, um, you know, customers or you know weird schedules or anything like that. You normally know what you're going to be doing um, well in advance. Everything's pretty much guaranteed for the most part. Pretty good miles, and they do have a couple team options in this division if you want to go that route. Uh, one of the few areas where Averett does have teams. All right. So that's what shuttle is. The next one would be SCS, supply chain. You could also call it maybe dedicated, although it's not truly dedicated. When I think of a dedicated route, I'm thinking of a person that drives the same route each and every day. Um, I think they do have a few of those here at Averitt. They're few and far between, but for the most part, um, when they call dedicated or supply chain or SCS, uh, which is supply chain services, by the way, 
what it is you're working for a, a specific company. You're working for one uh, one business, okay? Um, Averitt has a slew of these, and I'm not going to name them all off, and I don't want to get into trouble with Averitt by naming something that might be a secret, although uh, that's kind of weird. But the three I will mention are easily identifiable because we pull their trailers, and their trailers are branded. So if you paid attention on the road, uh, you know which ones Averitt has their hands in. A lot of them are not branded, and we haul them in our trailers. But the ones that are branded that I can just talk about are Dollar General, Cracker Barrel, and Russell Stover Chocolate. Okay, those are just three of the. Like I said, we got a slew of these, and if I started naming them off, I know I would miss some. I'm sure we got some that I don't even know about. Okay, they all work a little different, but let's just take the Dollar General account for example. What you'll do is you'll go to the Dollar General warehouse or distribution center. You'll pick up your loaded trailer and you will make your deliveries at one store, two store, three stores, four stores, whatever they need in that area. Then you'll come back to the distribution center and do it all over again the next day, all right? So each one of these is different, okay? So you wanna make sure you get the details about whichever one you're gonna sign up for. Like a lot of the Russell Stover ones are actually reefers, which is about the only thing that we pull reefer here at Aver for, because it's chocolate. Um, but there are, like I said, there's a bunch of these, and if you want to get into a dedicated type of account to where you're dealing with one person, one uh, business, one customer, or whatever you want to call it, that may be a good option for you. So that's what supply chain is. The next one is going to be called Flex, and this is all over their website, and it's probably the one I get asked the most about. What is a Flex driver? Um, a Flex driver takes those um, dedicated accounts, those supply chain accounts. So again, the three that I mentioned were Dollar General, Russell Stover, and um, what was the other one? Uh, Cracker Barrel, right? So let's just take those three. If Dollar General needs help for a couple months, maybe they're running behind, a Flex driver will fill in for them, okay, just to get them back on track. After they're back on track, that Flex driver may have to go to the Cracker Barrel account for a month or two, and then they may have to go to the Russell Stover account for a month. A flex driver fills in the weak spots in the supply chain listings that we have, okay? So it's it's really a good thing because you, if you're coming here and you're wanting to get, uh, to get into a dedicated account, it's a good chance for you to kind of test the waters of, of a few of them just to see what you like. And if you find one that you just really enjoy, then if a position comes available that where it's a permanent thing, you know you want it. So you can sign up for that, all right? So that's what a flex driver is. You're in your own truck. It's an assigned truck. It's a sleeper truck. Um, I don't know all the details about going home every weekend or all that. It probably uh, varies on which account you're currently working for at the time. Uh, so just make sure of that. Uh, but that's what a flex account is. It fills in the weak spots, areas where they need help um, on our supply chain accounts. All right, so next thing we got is that we got flatbed. And flatbed is, we do have some flatbed here at Averitt. Um, we don't do any kind of specialized hauling or heavy hauling that I know of. Most of the flatbed that we haul, um, I came from the flatbed world so I can kind of recognize things even though it's tarped. Um, I know I see a lot of lumber, um, two by fours, plywood, things like that. And I see a lot of vinyl siding such as like from Ply Gem um, and there's a few others that do it. Uh, but. I don't know if Averitt Hall steel uh, coils. I've not seen one, but you know I've not really paid attention either. Uh, so, but anyway, the flatbed, you know, you're gonna have to get out. It's a more physical job if you like that. I enjoyed it when I did it for a few years before I came to Averitt. Um, I'd probably still be doing it if I would have got home every weekend. Um, but you got to learn how to secure your loads. I'm sure they do all the training on that. Um, as far you have to get out and tarp your load, which is putting the big heavy tarps over it, so you know you don't get it wet, especially lumber loads. Um, you do get an extra kickback, an extra bonus for doing that. Um, but yeah, it's it's normal. It's freight. It's just on a flatbed. It's normal everyday flatbed. So if it's something you're interested in, Avert has it here too. Um, another thing we have is pods, and pods are those big storage containers. Um, sometimes residential people rent them out. Some people, um, sometimes they're commercial and they stuff these things full of stuff and they get put on a flatbed truck and they go to wherever they're moving to, right? So we do do pods. Uh, we have several locations at our service centers that uh, dabble in that where we have them as storage, I guess, uh, transfer stations, whatever you want to call them. 
And what you'll do is you'll be pulling a flatbed trailer and you'll be loading two or three of pods on your flatbed trailer and going to your destination. Throw a couple straps over each one and you're good to go. Uh, I know a couple people in that division, they said they really enjoy it, they said the miles are very good. Uh, the only downside to it for me would be that you don't get home every weekend. I think it's every two or three weeks, so just be aware of that. Um, if you don't have obligations, then uh, it's probably a pretty easy job considering they get constant miles and um, it's not really hard flatbed since it's really just two straps over each pod. So it's not that bad. All right, the last one is OTL, and that is something that Averett started. Um, Averett's been around a while, but I'm, it's OTL's not been around very long. All right, and once they started it, it just exploded. And this is for people that don't have any obligations at home to where you don't need to be home. Um, what it is is on tour logistics, and you're going to be handling things like concerts, festivals, events. Um, things like that so you're gonna be hauling anything from tents to uh, lighting rigging to stage equipment to uh, there's one we have a Facebook group for drivers and some of the OTL guys post pictures on there and he actually had Gravedigger the big monster truck that smashes cars in the back of his trailer uh, the wheels come off of that thing and the body goes in and the tires going afterwards it's crazy I didn't even know it, it traveled like that honestly but um so that you'll be doing all kinds of special events now the thing about a couple things to know about that is that you have to be here a certain amount of time i think it's six months don't quote me on that um you get a flat paycheck per week so it doesn't matter how many miles you get or what you do you get a flat paycheck every single week and you have to stay out for the duration of the tour so let's say you know you're on a three-month tour you're going to be gone for three months okay and they'll i'm sure they let you know ahead of time what you what tours are available um, so, you know, that's just one of those things. It, it would seem interesting because, like I said, they post pictures of it, and I've seen these guys driving to stadiums and stuff and setting up the stuff. It looks really neat. And Averett has some really big names that have already signed up for this that we've already taken care of. Um, I've said in other videos, you know, Beyonce, we've done Jay-Z, we've done Drake, we've done Ed Sheeran. Um, there are a lot of big names that um, Averett covers. And apparently sometimes they get to meet the artist, sometimes they get to go backstage, you know, you probably get to see all kinds of stuff that you would never see if you weren't in that position. So it's really cool. Uh, it would probably be something that I would do once my kids growed up and my wife rode with me full time. I think that would be awesome to do. Um, so anyway, that is OTL, but just be aware that you're going to be out for a month at a time, two months at a time, three months at a time, six months at a time, okay? It just depends on the tour how long the tour is, you know, so. Anyway, I think that answers all the questions or all the divisions here. If I missed one, I apologize, but I don't think I have. Um, if you have any more questions about them, feel free to email me. Um, of course, if you decide to give Ava to try, please put my name down as a referral because I get free bonus money out of it. So, hey, free money is good, right? Just for writing my name down in the little box or telling your recruiter you talk to me. All right, if you have any more questions or anything like that, guys, about Averett, about trucking, about life on the road, anything like that. I'm a trainer at Averett. I've been training for several years now, so it's, it's what I like to do. I like to help people out in this industry. So if you have any questions or anything, please email me. My name is Chris Yawn, and here is the email address I have set up just for this account, uh, chris at Averett at gmail.com. All right, guys, just be safe out there, and if you have any questions, just holler at me. Thanks. Bye, bye.